Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a no communication love reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at your person, what they might be thinking or feeling, how they may be viewing you, and any possible action that they may take towards you. We're also going to take a look at the lessons that need or needed to be learned from this connection and we're going to get as much advice from spirit as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Leos for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Leos, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, so your person is showing up as the Eight of Swords in reverse. So you definitely have somebody who's been in their head feeling confused. They're viewing you as the King of Cups in reverse. So you could be a Cancer Leo cusp, or you could just have some water in your chart, Pisces or Scorpio. Um, but they see that you're not really giving to this connection. They might feel like you've grown cold here, Leo. <laughs> yeah, and, but they are going to communicate King of Swords. They're coming in with some sort of truth. Now, it may be that they were avoiding telling you something or they just now know what to say. And I'm getting this as a result of Mercury going direct here. And we have the Eight of Cups. So it is possible that this person walked away from you. I feel like they've been doing a lot of reflection. Now, maybe some of my Leos, you walked away from them, but they're definitely coming in to communicate. And they've definitely been holding back, hiding some true feelings. And if this person feels like they haven't, they don't care or they've moved on, that's absolutely not the case. I am getting though that they do, they do kind of hold back. They hide their emotions quite well. All right. So let's see, we've got the six of swords. So some of you, this person, it feels like they've been moving on with other options. See, that was coming through really strong for me. A lot of my Leos, this is something that's going to really take you by surprise because they might be like on social media, like dating or going out or act like they don't care. But this person hasn't moved on. This person has been really in their head about you. And a lot of you, they may have, you know, they, they may have grown cold here. Or maybe they grew cold with you or they shut, you know, they, they, I don't know. It just feels like, like what's on the outside, Leo, is not what's truly going on within. And this person's really missing you, wanting to come towards you. Maybe they thought you were going to chase or you were going to give to this connection. I feel like they are hoping they were hoping that you would, but for a lot of them now, I feel like they're quite worried because you're not giving to this connection. Um, they might feel like you're emotionally drained. Yeah, they, they know that you're kind of angry, upset with them. You haven't let go of what's happened between the two of you. Some of you, you're burying yourselves in work, but they also know there's something from the past that's a really big burden here for you, but between you and them. So again, I don't know if this person put you in a third party situation. You found out they were lying or cheating or maybe they're worried that's what you're thinking, but I do feel like this person created drama and conflict. I feel like they appear like they're moving on, but that's just all a facade. It's all a show. So this person with the King of Swords, they're coming in with the truth. They're gonna try to be diplomatic. So they're coming in with diplomacy and tact. Um, they're coming in with the truth though. They know they need to make it up to you. I think this person's really disappointed in themselves, the way that they behaved and that things haven't, you know, that things have, the way things have gone between the two of you and this person, death card in reverse. I feel like they're spying on you. I feel like they're quite secretive. Um, I feel like this person really hides their true feelings and emotions, but I do think that's going to change. They're going to send you some sort of message or, you know, want to meet up and talk. The high priestess energy tells me some of you, again, this could be a Cancer or Pisces person, but Leo, I'm seeing here also strong Scorpio energy. I'm seeing here that this person has not let you go. And I think they're going to come in and tell you that they realize that they need to make it up to you. Whether or not you're up for that, it's going to be completely up to you. I'm getting really strong water energy though. So let's see, what would this person... What do they really want my Leos to know here? What does this person really want my Leos to know here, please? All right, so we get my reflection. I am facing some difficult truths about myself. All right. All right, I'm sorry I hurt you and also hurt myself in the process. Please forgive me. So they've been doing a lot of reflection. They do, they know they need to make it up to you or offer you some sort of an apology. And I've put away the past. I'm ready to step up and be the person I need to be. 
So this person does want to step up here, Leo. And our inexplicable connection has had quite an effect on me. Wow. So this person, they're, they're coming back around. All right. And they, you have definitely changed this person. You've maybe even been the source or catalyst for a dark night of the soul or their awakening. All right. Things are not what they seem, though, okay, with this person. And I do apologize about the background noise. It's that time of day here where people are coming home from work, dogs are being walked, things like that. All right, let's see what lessons need or needed to be learned from this connection. You know, and I'm also getting like all that background noise. I don't know how much it's picking up on your end, how much you're picking up on it, but like dogs fighting, dogs barking. I mean, they're not really fighting, but you know, they're barking at each other. Um, it's like, I feel like there's drama around this person fighting six of wands in reverse, a lot of ego energy. All right. So lessons of Pluto. So these are the lessons that need or needed to be learned. Patterns of control, power, manipulation, and intense push and pull attraction. Intimacy is not possessive. Okay. So these are the lessons here in this connection. Take a chance. You can't grow in your comfort zone. Stepping into the unknown is trusting the universe. Go for it. So some of my Leos, you may take a chance with this person if you feel they've really changed. But I also feel like, you know, with the death card in reverse, you need to really make sure that there has been some sort of transformation or they're backing up their words with action. Okay. And for others of you taking a chance, if this is somebody you've dealt with for a long time or they're in your comfort zone, but it's no longer healthy, it may be time to take a, take a risk take a leap of faith in another direction and lessons of mars purely physical sexual attraction fire and passions run fast and burn fast without other elements so do make sure those other elements are here leo we do get this tel uh, telepathy energy though this connection has a very strong empathic and telepathic soul bond so you're definitely feeling each other maybe even meeting in the dream space i do f i get that very strong mystical telepathic connection with the high priestess and we get that confirmation here with the telepathy card all right leo's clear messages and guidance for you regarding this person regarding this connection all right so watch your words i almost feel like be careful of gossip i also feel like allow this person to do the talking leo trust your intuition they're going to tell you everything you need to know this king of swords everything you need to know about them all right and let's see and we get be fearless and bold so there's something here about taking a risk taking a leap of faith whether that's towards this person for some of you that may be the case but for others of you it may just be in a, in a different direction um, but there definitely is a greater plan at work spirit saying trust your intuition with this koala with that third eye activated spirit has a plan here okay so remember you know, there's, uh, what happens is usually, and well, not usually is for our highest and greatest good, right? It's not happening to us. It's happening for us. So this person, I do feel like they've gone through some changes, some shifts, some evolution, which is always really positive. Um, but it's going to be up to you if you want to take this person back or not, or if you want to work on things or hold space for this connection. Of course, when I say holding space for this connection, Leo, it's not about putting your life on hold. Okay. All right, let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my Leos. I am using a new deck. It's called the Night Fairy Oracle. Mm. And I will be reading from the book. Clear messages and guidance for my Leos. We get the Alpha number seven. Boom. All right. I know my Leos are going to like that. The Alpha number seven. Okay, so this fairy... says stay on target and rally the others all right so the clan has called you to lead okay or the group awaken the alpha within you now is the time to give or receive guidance depending on the pecking order of the pack be ferocious and discerning O oh great leader for your heart must be just and pure to weather the storm Follow the leader, a position of authority, a new job title, looking up to others for advice. Embody the awesome potential that you hold within. Hold your head high and lead. 
Though humility is admirable, one would be ill-advised to shy away from the spotlight should it be to the detri detriment of the pack. Every pack has an alpha, and it looks like it's you. It looks like it's you, Leo. Take a chance, step up, take the lead. You know what's right for you. You know if this person is somebody who's good for you, who builds you up, is on the same page or not, or they're coming in with some sort of communication that's going to make that all very, very clear for you. Wow. All right, Leos, you're going to have to let me know how this resonates down below in the comment section. I'm sending you so much love and light. And if these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Leos. Take care.